White supremacy does not belong here. White supremacy is not a point of view. It is hate. It is not the other side of any conversation. So, so, so! An anti-hate demonstration is underway on the front lawn of Queen's Park, denouncing recent white supremacist rallies here in Canada. I'm Faiza Amin. Today's event comes as an anti-immigration rally scheduled to take place in November right here in Toronto. And this is a response to, uh, you know, the general trend of hateful acts that are in public spaces. All of us show of solidarity as people of different cultures, religions, sexual orientations, community groups, and even labor unions came together for one purpose. Over 1,000 in attendance to speak out against what they say continues to be a growing trend here in Canada. We saw it most recently in La Colle, Quebec, and in Peterborough, Ontario. In both cities, alt-right demonstrations billed as anti-immigration and anti-Trudeau rallies were organized. Now it seems Toronto may be next. This is my area. There's an anti-Trudeau rally. A masked man who calls himself Toronto Hammer published this video to YouTube inviting people to attend the rally on November 4th in the beaches. You're not going to be comfortable in our city and we're going to call it what it is, which is white supremacy. Don't be afraid to use that terminology. Day-to-day -day practices that embolden white supremacists to act. Uh, and if uh, our government's not going to stand on our side, then they need to get out of the way while we organize. All of us or none of us. Organizers of the Unity Rally saying not enough has been done to combat and denounce white supremacy in Canada. And none of our officials are talking about white supremacy. Many calling on city, provincial and federal leaders to take a stricter stand against these hate rallies and the people behind them that specifically target groups and minorities. I think the governments pay a lot of lip service for talking about Canada as being an inclusive uh, place and welcoming, but I think there's a lot of evidence that it's not welcoming to everybody. I think that legislators need to play a role in defining what a hate crime is, broadening the definition of a hate crime, and effectively treating those people for what they are. As the over 1,000 in attendance rallied onto the streets today, they're also reminded this conversation goes just beyond today. And I want to challenge you to not leave the conversation here on the on the lawn of Queen's Park. Some even open to have meaningful discussions with the same groups organizing hate-based rallies, part of the efforts to educate people and denounce white supremacy. We're not really about showing up and actively countering. That's more of a, a more of a hostile take. We're about conversation. We're about unity, obviously. And as for that anti-immigration rally scheduled to take place in November, organizers of today's unity rally say. Don't expect them there to counter protest at Queen's Park. I'm Faiza Amin for City News.